Hello everyone! First off, I know, I know. Outfit repeater, shut up! <laughs> I just, this is like the best shirt that I own for these really hot like 100 degree days where this is basically made of nothing so it lets as much sweat and heat off of me as possible and it, you know, you can't tell that I'm sweating in this apart from the drips going down my face. But you know, I don't have pit stains or anything because this doesn't have armpits. Like, I washed it and everything. Do I get... Okay, probably no one even cares. But anyways, there's going to be tons of chit chat in the video anyways. So I guess I'm just going to start putting things on my face. If you haven't read the title, it's a get ready with me. So as always, I will have products that I'm using listed down below in the description bar. I always do that for you. So please check there first. Sorry, I'm not like talking to my crotch. I was squirting out my primer. Is this like a good distance? Do you guys want to be like a little closer? Okay, this is like chat distance, right? Right, all right. Um, so how are you guys? Hopefully you are doing well. <sighs> I am a jumble of emotions, mostly anxious ones. Um, yeah. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, I just applied for a job that I really, 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 really want. And I probably shouldn't even tell you guys this because then you're going to be asking, did you get it? And I'm probably not going to get it. But like, I like literally just sent in that email, you know, like 20 minutes ago. I have no confidence in myself. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, well, it's out of my hands. It is in their email. They can do what they want with it. I really hope I can at least get an interview. I'm just, I just want to like puke on everything. And I know you're probably thinking, uh, you know, would puking on everything really help things? I mean, it would feel good to me. Just, bleh, 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 you know? No? <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys! <sighs> oh well, like I said, what's done is done. Um, also, anxious feelings, because after this, I'm going to go and take my driver's test. And no, I'm not 16 and going to take my driver's test, you know, like you do to get your license. I'm 25! <sighs> and I'm going to retake my driver's test because if you haven't seen my past couple of videos where I have uh, bitched and moaned about this <laughs> in those videos, oh uh, you guys, if you know me at all, I'm just, I'm a complainer. <sighs> I can't help it. Sometimes I just complain when I'm bored and I don't even realize I'm doing it. I don't know. Um, oh, is that dry shampoo? Go away. But yeah, so if you are not, like, how do I say this? If you ever want to get a Minnesota driver's license, there, how's that? Whether you've lived here before or not, you have to take your driver's test. I don't care if you've had your driver's license, like me, for, you know, basically 10 years. I've had it for nine years. They don't care. You have to retake your driver's test. <sighs> so, I've been taking the online, like, practice tests and there's some of them that I still keep getting wrong because like I don't what is it I'm probably gonna get it wrong now too on camera so like don't use me as a reference if you're studying right now for the <laughs> Minnesota test but like if you have a oh, I swear there's a hair right there yes um if you have something hitched to your car or your truck whatever like how far do you have to maintain between other cars or something like I don't know I don't have a trailer hitch I don't have anything to drag behind like I think it's 200 feet now that I'm saying that that seems like a lot I don't know I don't know you guys I just don't know oh I don't know Although the ones that I didn't know that now I do know, if you get pulled over for being under the influence and you don't have your license, 
technically, you can be put in jail up to three years and one day. <sighs> that is the maximum sentence you can get. Fun fact, in case any of you were thinking about driving under the influence, I recommend you don't. That's not nice. Find someone else to drive you somewhere. And if no one will drive you, walk. Please don't kill other people just because you are being stupid. Which part of my face do I want to cover up? All of it? Ah. Thankfully, most of this is just like in the healing process, so it's just covering up redness. Okay, I shouldn't even try with that one, but... Oh, you guys, you guys. I am glad that this honker and this honker are gone, though. Oh my gosh, those were so painful. Now I've just got this nice little crusty bit slash dent in my face. So cute. There. Better. <laughs> what else, you guys? What else is going on? So, yeah, wish me luck. By the time you all see this, I will have already taken my test. I will put on the screen how I did. It'll either be like a bunch of crying and caps locks or else it'll be a bunch of rejoice and happy faces. So, you tell me, how'd I do? <laughs> Please tell me I did okay. Oh man. And sorry also in advance, I feel like Galileo hasn't been in like any of my videos lately. At least Except for like, you know, parts where I go and find him and vlog him in there. <laughs> Lately I have been filming during his prime time siesta hours, so I'm, I'm sorry I guess, but like, I'm not about to go wake my kitty up. He's sleeping. He is attacking mice and birds and rolling in catnip right now. Why would I take him away from that? I wouldn't. Also the other day... I went, I went, I, wrong brush. I finally found doctors and stuff here in Minnesota. I feel like that is probably the most annoying part of moving anywhere is finding your new like primary care physician. And for me, I need an ophthalmologist because my eyes suck. And what else? Um... You know, just everything. Dentist. Everything. Everything. I had to find Galileo a new vet. And just the works. The works. It sucks. It takes forever to find someone who has your insurance, or like takes your insurance group, and is taking new patients, and blah 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 blah. I'm going back to an oldie but a goodie blush. It's really not an oldie. I've had this for what, like a year? <laughs> My Glisten blush from Tarte. It's just so pretty. I want to be pretty. There. Now at least I'm fake pretty. I'm makeup pretty. Um, let's see. I don't know why I'm thinking of this right now, but my... My friend Dana, the one who's getting married next month, she was here a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I forget, but she was here very briefly for a dress fitting, and so we hung out, and uh, sorry, I feel weird, like, talking with my eyes closed for some reason, but okay, we're done with that. So we hung out, and we went to the mall, and she wanted to get a lipstick from MAC and so we were in there and I don't remember how it got brought up but we were like talking to one of the girls that was working at MAC I think she was getting the lipstick for Dana or whatever and oh no it's because the one that she wanted to try they didn't have a tester out for it so she was like you know getting us a new one and I forget what I don't know, maybe she just brought it up or something, but the girl, apparently, you know, you know, there's always just, there's good employee stories at stores, you know? Any store, I feel like, working retail especially. Because people, people be nuts. They be real nuts. Oh, what do I want to do with my eye 
eyes today, you guys. Old Faithful. I'd be okay with Old Faithful. Oh, do you guys want to be closer for this? Hold on. Even though. <laughs> uh, this doesn't look the greatest right now, but we'll get there. We'll get there, you guys. Calm, calm down. Um, but yeah, so she was telling us that apparently she has seen customers take the sample blushes and just like take the whole thing and just rub it on their cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Like why not just uh, use your finger or something? I don't know. Or like she said apparently some people to steal the lipsticks they'll pretend like they're going to test it and then they'll just <laughs> bite the lipstick off and like hold the lipstick in their mouth <laughs> till they leave or something like what? <laughs> just, oh, that makes no sense to me. No sense. I don't know, maybe... Like, I'm a lipstick lover, but I just... I've never felt quite that desperate <laughs> to own a lipstick. I don't know. But whatever. To each their own, right? And speaking of MAC... I mean, I'm speaking of MAC anyways. They need to make a Sailor Moon collection. Am I right? I'm right. I'm very right. Do you know how freaking fantastic they could make that collection? All of the different colors of the Sailor Scouts and like just the sparkle and the bedazzlement. It could just be so good and people, I can guarantee it would sell out within like the first 10 minutes. It would go so well, so well. Just like imagine they could like make the lipstick tubes different colors for each of them and have their little symbol on it and oh oh it would be so cute I would buy it I would buy all of it I don't know why they haven't produced that yet but they're missing out they're missing out you guys I don't know what I'm doing with my eye look right now <laughs> um, a little bit of everything apparently. Also, now I'm just thinking about Mac, but <sighs> I'm not gonna pronounce this name right. But Guo Pei. I'm so sorry. That collection will be coming out soon-ish, I think. And the packaging. The packaging beautiful but of course since it's like a collaboration with a designer or whatever the price is like jacked up so I won't really be able to get anything from the collection I mean I'll probably treat myself to something from it I'm probably gonna get a blush just because the compact is so pretty and I just think it displays the beauty of the compact the best so probably going to even though that's gonna be really expensive probably <laughs> wait wait what am i um is this an idea what am i doing <laughs> like did that what am i doing <laughs> You guys, I have no direction. There, that's what I wanted to do. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good. Keep going with that. That is perfect. Maybe if I just look ultra crazy when I walk into the DMV, they'll just be like, here, just take it, please leave. Right? Alright, let's blend this to oblivion. Go. Go blend. I have so much glitter under my eye. 
It, it must have been on my finger. I'm making it worse. Like, a lot worse? There's so much glitter under my eye and it's like stuck to my skin. Well, here, I want glitter under this eye now too. There, at least that evens it out. Can you guys even see that on camera? Oh man. That's chopper for ya. I love the shadow, but dang glitter everywhere for days. There. Whew. I feel like this was a bit more dramatic than I was envisioning for today, but I mean, okay. Let's make it more dramatic with an eyeliner. By an eyeliner, I mean I'm just gonna put some powder in my lash line. Ah. Ah, see, I, I create lists every now and then because I know I'm gonna run out of things to say when I'm filming these videos, but one thing that I don't have time to tell everybody, but I try my best to tell as many people as I can, if you slash let me start over again, <laughs> or maybe that was an okay way to start, but if you feel like you leave comments on videos, but you never get replied back to, well, either you're leaving comments on videos where that YouTuber doesn't respond to comments, <laughs> or you have your settings so that people literally cannot respond to you. Like, literally there is not a reply button under your comment. There's just the option to thumbs it up or thumbs it down. So that happened when YouTube and Google Plus became one. Yes, that fateful night when two became one. It just, it changed some people's settings. I don't know why it didn't change everybody's slash I just, I hated that whole switch over in general, uh, but one wing is much more dramatic than the other, but I don't think I really care. All right. There. There. Maybe. Maybe. I think I can live with this today. But yeah, so I would just check in general just go into your profile settings or whatever and there should be an option to make it so that people can reply to your comments i personally don't know the exacts of it but i'm sure if you like type into google why can't people respond to my comments on youtube i'm sure something will come up i just hate the thought that any of you would think i'm ignoring you that's not it that's not it i mean granted i've been having a lot of trouble keeping up with the comments in general anyways. Oh, and I feel so bad about it. I just have been getting so many comments on my videos lately and that sounds like I'm bragging. I'm really not. But I've just been getting so many comments lately and I just, I don't have time to respond to all of them. I'm sorry. It really does. It makes me feel awful. Yeah, just so you know, that's a thing. That's a thing. God, that under eye glitter though. Though, though, though. I really do wonder if you guys can see. I don't know, you guys, what else is there to talk about? Um. So for the first time in a long time, I got a planner. Like an actual physical pen and paper planner. And I love it. I always, 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 always used to use a planner. I had to just because I had so much crap going on in high school. Like, I was usually working, well, I was always working at least two jobs. Sometimes there were three. And, you know, there was always, I was like the president of my choir, and I was in school musicals and whatnot. And, it was a lot to keep track of and I was also a pretty much straight A student in high school. I think I got one B plus and I was pissed but 
Um, I always had all my homework and like to-do lists and this, that, and the other thing. And then I just kind of stopped. I don't know. I did to-do lists and stuff in college still, but I don't know. I just stopped using a planner. And especially when I was out in Boston, I don't know why I didn't just like get a new planner, but I didn't. And it made me a bit more... I mean, I still got my stuff done. But I felt a bit more scrambly. I just like being able to check things off, you know? Like, even if I'm not going to get that thing done today, I'll get it done tomorrow. It's written down. I'm not going to forget. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I mean, it's not just me. <laughs> but I finally got another planner. I was at Target. I think I was getting like boring stuff that I feel like should just be free. Like toothpaste and deodorant. You know? Like, you should want me to have good breath and not smelly armpits. Shouldn't that, it should just be free. But that's not how the world works. So I was buying that stuff and I had to walk past the paper and office supplies aisle, which is like one of my favorite aisles because I love stationery and that kind of stuff. I don't have any because I really rarely, except for like around Christmas and stuff, but I decided to peruse the aisle. Why did, I swear I put eyeshadow on this. <laughs> Why did like nothing come up? Um, and I found a planner, and I bought it, and it has been wonderful. So wonderful. And it also just helps, like, for me, because sometimes a week will go by and I'll be like, wow, I didn't do anything that week, because I didn't have anything written down, so I just, like, forget about all the little things that I actually did take care of. And so with a planner, I have all that stuff written down, so I can look back and be like, dang, girl! You've got your stuff together, look at you, getting stuff done. Like, good on you. Have a chocolate. My poor little stick of wax, it's getting down to the nubby nub nubbins. But my mom actually just gave me a little sample of the Anastasia brow gel that I have done a video on and talked about before and tried before. And I do like it, it does work well, I'm just more of a wax person. I just think it looks a bit more natural and the gel just makes it look like you're sculpted which like is a great look don't get me wrong I just prefer the more natural look but I do remember when I was using the gel I did get a bit addicted to that look <laughs> not gonna lie and it was like hard to kind of adjust to looking a bit more natural but yeah okay there we go you guys I think I'm done with my makeup <laughs> I'm gonna set this real quick Mmm. You guys, this stuff is gold. Liquid gold. Stinky gold. It does have a scent to it, but if I do say so myself, damn. It does help to lock everything in place. You guys, look how sad this is! I just published this video today. My Bite Beauty lipstick review video. And this broke off and so many of you in the comments were saying that all bite lipsticks do that, even the big ones, which is really sad to hear. It's just like they're too creamy or something. I mean, especially these little ones, it's just because, the, you know, that base, there's no foundation for it to hold on to. But I am obsessed with these lipsticks. Thankfully, this one is the only one that has broken off, knock on wood. Here table in front of me. It's fake wood, but I mean, whatever. It's the thought that counts. But I have been wearing these to death. Oh, I forgot I still had on chapstick. That's why this is going on a little weird. Uh, come on now. Alright, so note to self and others. Wipe off your chapstick before you put on a bite lipstick, or else it will be very patchy. But yeah, I think I was saying, and I didn't ever finish, 
I've been wearing one of these lipsticks every single day since I filmed that video last week. I mean, every day that I've worn makeup. <sighs> I'm just, oh, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this formula. Isn't that pretty? So, there's my makeup. Did I do okay? Can you see all the glitter underneath my eyes? I'm sorry, I just think that is so comical. I've never had so much glitter on my face. Here's the eye look. I don't really know what happened there, but I think... Oh yeah, you can totally see the glitter now. Here, focus, focus. You can totally see it, right? All the freaking glitter underneath my eyes. <laughs> oh, how ridiculous. Oh well. I'm just a fairy today, and I'm okay with that. Especially for my driver's license photo, hell yeah, I wanna look like a fairy. An officer pulls me over, like, look at my glittery under eyes. Aren't you enticed? Don't you wanna let me off the hook? <laughs> oh God. And there it is from far away, right? Not as bad, you can't see the glitter under my eye. Z, I, z, I do have two eyes. Last time I looked, sorry, I had some Batiste resting in my hair. I just want to make sure I scrub a dub dub that out. Ooh. Look at that volume. Hello. All right, so completed look. Yay! As always, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I feel like I really didn't talk about anything that exciting, but you know, I know how it is. I personally like to have on get ready with me videos or like vlogs or whatever when I'm getting ready for the day. Just have someone chatting at me in the background, so hopefully I could be that person for you all. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I hope you all are doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! And look who comes over the second I turn off my camera. Yeah. Bad timing, honey. Meow. Yeah. I went to his club, right? Yeah. Now, People just want to say hi. Had no baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I, could, I didn't know what to think about that. Meow. Didn't know what to think about Meow. that. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you yeah, too. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, they like you too, honey. Okay, bye bye, Diva. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop.